Hi guys! Welcome to Jin's Beauty Space. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to feel like the main character sa graduation day mo. Kasi ang dami ng graduating ngayon, congratulations to all of you. And I know you want to feel the prettiest sa graduation day mo, so I got your back. Also, if you want a tutorial for your graduation pictorial, I have a tutorial on my TikTok. It has three parts, so I'm just gonna be linking it down below. I'm gonna be using affordable products today. By affordable, I mean 500 pesos and below. And I'm also gonna be recommending makeup products, and all of them will be listed on the description box below. Let's start. For your sunscreen or moisturizer, gamitin na lang ko anong meron sa inyo. Kasi this one is not so affordable, just like 600. Kasi naubos na yung affordable sunscreen ko. So I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. This can also be an illuminator by the way, so this is really nice. Kalimutan ko na naman mag contacts and I'm gonna be using Decart Fresh Hazel. So this is how Fresh Hazel looks like on my eyes. So nice, like ito yung like kong ginagamit pag nalabas. For primer, I'm gonna be using this one from ZZ. And I'm just gonna be spreading it all over my face, but focusing on the center part. This product is good for all skin types pala if you're wondering. And if you have a lot of redness sa mukha mo, I suggest getting the green one instead of the purple one. Kasi yung purple is nakakancel out niya yung yellow sa face. If you want to use an illuminator, I highly recommend this one from Isian Co. Their True Flux Illuminator. But I'm not gonna be using illuminator today. Kasi yung ginamit kong sunscreen slash moisturizer is illuminator na rin siya. As you can see. We're done with the skin prep, now let's move on to foundation. I have four products to recommend to you guys. If you're looking for a good quality affordable cushion, then I highly recommend this one from Says Lady. Kaso, they only have four shades, so ayun lang. This is the best affordable foundation in my opinion, and this is from a local brand. It's the Squad Aqua Foundation. I don't know kung may stock na ba yung ibang shades, kasi last time I checked, darker shades na lang available. Pero pag nakita nyo to sa mall, buy it, kasi definitely worth it talaga. For only like 200 plus pesos, super worth it. And masisimot mo talaga yung product kasi ganito yung packaging niya. Kung gusto mo naman mag skin tint lang, I highly recommend this one from Maybelline, their Fit Me Fresh Tint. Kasi nasa 399 lang ata to. And it has really good coverage for a skin tint. Lastly, of course, the Detail Fresh Filter. This is my highly recommended local foundation talaga. Kasi it's so, so good. Today, I'm gonna be using the Squad Aqua Foundation because it's been a while since I've used this. And I remember na I really, really like this. To apply your foundation, I recommend using a brush like this or a damp sponge. But pwede din naman, you apply it using a brush and then blending it with the sponge. And yun yung gagawin natin today. I'm gonna be using this amount of product. You can take your fingers and spread mo lang sa face mo. And then pag nagbe-blend kayo using brush, do it in tapping motions para wala masyadong streaks. And then I'm gonna be blending it with a sponge para lang hindi siya mag -cake. Here's the difference with and without foundation. As you can see, na-cover niya yung dark spots sa face ko, also my veins, and na-even out niya yung skin ko. Let's proceed to the side of my face. So, this is how it looks like on my skin. Hindi siya nag-cling sa dry patches ko, and ang ganda ng lapat niya. Before we proceed, I'm gonna be prepping my lips with the Detail Jelly Lip Plumper. Moving on to concealers, if naghaharap ka ng super affordable but good quality concealer, I highly, highly recommend the SEM concealers. Like, less than 200 pesos lang to and ginagamit ng mga Korean makeup artists. Super ganda guys, super hydrating niya under the eyes and also it has medium to full coverage. Also, let us not forget to get ready with me radiant stint kasi sobrang ganda rin ito. I'm gonna be using the SEM under my eyes. So, nilalagay ko yung 1.5 sa areas na gusto kong ma-highlight. Sa center ng face ko, like that. And then, yung shade 2.25 is nilalagay ko here. Para hindi masyado maputi yung under eyes ko. And then, blending it out with a smaller version of this brush, which is this one. After blending it with this brush, I'm gonna be blending it with a sponge. Again, when blending with a brush, tap tap lang. By the way, you can marinate this concealer because it's very hydrating. Look at that coverage, like for 150 pesos. Saan ko pa makakita ng concealer na ganito? Of course, the other side. Now, I'm going over it with a damp sponge. So, ayan, meron na tayong blank canvas. For bronzer, same lang din sa previous video ko. I have here the Isian Co. 
Flare Cosmetics and the Celeste Co. Soft Touching Blush. Ito yung mga lagi kong ginagamit for bronzer. And today, I'm gonna use the Isian Co. one kasi this is my favorite talaga. I'm gonna be using a fluffy angled brush like this. Just to bring back the warmth sa face para hindi tayo magmukhang maputla. Tati, hindi talaga ako nagpa-bronzer. Pero when I discovered about bronzer or like kung ano yung nabibigay niyang effect sa makeup, hindi na ako nakakalabas ng bahay ng walang bronzer. <laughs> this product is so blendable, perfect for beginners. Hindi siya super pigmented at first. So you can definitely build it up. So, that's what I like about this product. Now, I look sun-kissed. So, for contour, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one from Detail. Their clay pen in the shade Craft. Kasi, this one is super handy and super convenient gamitin. Like, pencil type siya. So, you can just apply it like that and then blend it with your fingers. And then, kahit hindi mo na siya iset with powder, it is smudge proof. So, ito yung gagamitin natin today. Medyo mabilis lang siya mag-set. So, work fast lang when using this product. I'm gonna be using this brush to blend the contour. As you can see, ang bilis niya ma-blend. Just don't let it set for a long time. Ayan, may shadow na yung cheeks natin. Also, I'm not gonna forget my jaw kasi tumataba na yung face ko. Ayan, let us just contour. Kasi wala pang pera pang jaw talk. So, baka naman. Charot. As you can see, lumit na yung face ko. <laughs> Moving on sa nose, just draw like a line like that. Line? Draw a curved line like that here. Pwede yung ganyan kasi we're gonna spread it downwards naman or like blend it sa baba. Oh my god, ang pangit ko mag-explain. And then here, like parang V. So, ganito ako mag-contour ng nose. Pero depende pa rin yan sa gusto nyo ma-achieve or sa nose shape nyo. I'm gonna be using the concealer brush na ginamit ko kanina to blend the contour. I really like this shade kasi it's just the perfect kind of cool-toned contour for me. It's just so good. Like, squad and detail. Those brands are very affordable and super accessible lang. Like, nasa mall. So, if you're a beginner and looking for good quality makeup products na nasa mall, then go to Detail and Squad Cosmetics. For blush naman, I'm gonna be using this one from Flair Cosmetics. It's in the shade Refresh. I don't know kung may stock na sila, but if wala pang stock, I highly recommend this blush from Lovely Cosmetics. It's in the shade Dream Girl. And also, get ready with me cosmetics in the shade Souffle. I'm just gonna be applying it on the center of my cheeks. I'm gonna be using this Kabuki brush to blend it out. See, it's so pretty and hindi nakakagulat yung color niya. So, I love this so much. Also, applying blush on your nose makes a huge difference. Like, nakaka-fresh talaga siya, as you can see. Also, a little bit on your chin. Kasi extra ko, I just want to build it up. And then, just blending it in with my sponge para simla siya tingnan. Ayan, super flawless ng base natin. Moving on to powders, if you want a good quality, affordable pressed powder, I highly recommend this one from Sis Lady. I was so shocked when I tried this one kasi nakaka-poreless talaga siya te. Also for loose powder, I haven't tried the Dr. Sensitive one but they said it's nice. So feel free to buy it. Nasa Watson's lang naman. When applying powder, I like to get the product. This also applies sa loose powder guys. Tap it on my hand before applying it on my face. So as you can see... Super flawless ng pagka-apply ng powder. It doesn't look too much and hindi siya cakey. May coverage tong powder na to guys. So I really recommend doing the technique when applying the powder. Also, yung mga natirang product, I'm gonna apply it here. Don't forget to apply powder dito sa sides ng nose. Kasi most of the time, dito talaga nakikake yung product. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using a big fluffy brush to set it. So, moving on to powder products. For powder bronzer, I don't have like a single product na bronzer lang talaga. Itong product na to is like 500 plus. So, lumagpas na siya sa 500 budget natin. But to get everything na, you get blushes, highlighter, contour, and bronzer. So, makakatipid ka talaga. Kahit na 549 siya. Isipin mo, for 500 plus, hindi ka na kailangan bumili ng powder blush, powder contour, highlighter. Kasi nandito na lahat. So, ito yung gagamitin natin today. I'm gonna be mixing the contour and bronzer for bronzer. Para lang ma-define ulit yung face natin. The purpose, bakit sinaset natin yung cream products with powder products? Para long-lasting talaga siya sa skin. You can use naman the same palette. But I'm also gonna recommend some affordable contour products. So, this is the Sace Lady Contour Palette. I have two shades. I prefer the shade 02 more kasi mas cool tone siya. But, hindi naman like ganun ka warm tone yung 01. So, if you have like a deeper morena skin tone, then 01 is for you. But if you have like the same skin tone or mas lighter ka sa akin, 02 is the shade for you. So, I really like this novel contour palette. This is like an alternative for the Etude contour palette which I don't have. So, ito yung binili ko. I'm gonna be using the Sace Lady contour palette today. And I'm gonna be using this angled brush to contour my nose. 
Yan, just take the product and then top off the excess. Kasi ayaw natin ng masobra ng contour yung nose natin. Baka magmukha ng gray. Same lang din. Dito tayo magsimula. And then just blend it downwards. Like that. And then, here sa ilalim para magmukhang matangos yung ilong natin, di ba? So, pagkatapos mong mag-apply ng powder products, if you feel like it's too powdery or too dry, you can use a setting spray or face mist to melt your makeup together. I recommend this ZC setting spray kasi nakaka-melt siya ng makeup and it gives you that really nice glow so hindi nagmumukhang dry yung face mo. So, konti lang yung isa-spray ko kasi hindi naman ganun ka-dry tignan yung face ko. So, ayan. Ganyan lang. And then, I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit. So, ganun yung purpose ng MAC Fix Plus, ng mga face mist. It gets rid of the powdery texture sa face and like the dry texture. So, nagiging ganda siya. Moving on sa brows, I have like four products to recommend. This is the detail Super Fine Liner. So, pwede siyang eyeliner, pwede rin siyang pang kilay. But I mostly use this for my kilay kasi ang ganda niya. Ganto siya kanipes, like super nipes niya. Ang ganda ng shade niya, like hindi siya ganun ka brown, hindi rin siya ganun ka gray. And the shade latte by the way, and super affordable lang nito. Okay, this one naman, yung Limok Eyebrow Gel. Lagi ko na tong ginagamit, like every single video ata ginagamit ko na to. I just love this product so much kasi nga ang dark ng eyebrows ko and I wanted to be lighter. Walang eyebrow gel yung nakakapagpalighten talaga ng brows ko ng bongga. Ito lang talaga. And this one is like not designed to be an eyebrow mascara kasi. So this one is an eyebrow cream. So ginagawa ko lang siyang eyebrow mascara. If you want naman yung clear brow mascara or brow gel na nakakapag-set talaga ng brows mo the whole day, I recommend this one from Get Ready With Me. No joke, whole day to nagstay sa kilay ng friend ko na super kapal ng kilay and ang ganda pa rin ng kilay niya at the end of the day. If you want a more beginner-friendly clear brow gel. I recommend this one from Issy & Co. Kasi this one holds your brows till the end of the day as well. But today, I'm gonna be using the Limuk Eyebrow Gel as always. You can draw your brows however you want. Ako kasi naglalagay lang ako ng eyebrow mascara kasi tamad ako. And also, I like the shape of my brows naman na. So, I'm just gonna be applying the Limuk Eyebrow Gel like that. So, ayan. Ganyan lang ako magkilay, guys. So, if maganda na yung shape ng brows mo, just apply brow mascara and you're good to go. It looks like this up close. Na-define niya lang yung brows ko. Now, let's proceed to eyeshadow palettes. And these palettes are below 300 pesos lang. Let's start off with the Romand knockoffs na talagang na-enjoy ko. These are the Sweet Mint palettes. And these are Romand knockoffs, as you can see. Buy at your own risk pagdating sa mga products na ganito. So far, hindi naman nagkaka-allergic reaction yung lids ko. But still, okay? Buy at your own risk. I'm telling you this. Okay, so this is how it looks like. As you can see, sobrang pretty. It literally looks like the Roman Rosebud Palette. The pigment is there. It's also very blendable. For 130 pesos, 130 to 150 pesos, this is so good. Also, this brown one, ang ganda ng glitters niya. But I prefer this more kasi ang ganda ng shades and magagamit mo talaga lahat. Also, this palette from O2O is so underrated and ang ganda niya, guys. This is in the shade 01. As you can see, ang shala ng packaging. It's so nice. Hindi ko to na-mention sa last video ko kasi hindi ko siya nakita. Pero yeah, this is so good. Naubusan ako hininga. <laughs> this is how it looks like. It's so pretty. Like, ang wearable niya talaga. Okay, let's just take a moment and appreciate my base. Diba? Like, hindi na siya powdery tignan. That's how this setting spray works. Like, yung 100ml. Super nice and super fine ng mist. <coughs> May konting shimmer siya, yung shade sa gitna, yung color pink. Ano ba? Bakit ayaw mag-focus? Anyway, ayan siya. Super pretty. So, let's use that as our base. By the way, if you're new here, yung makeup style ko pala is more on the doyin, Chinese, Korean look. So, if you're not into that kind of look, my makeup tutorial is not for you. Kasi, yun talaga yung bet kong makeup style. Medyo light pala yung shades nito. So, I'm gonna be using some shades from the Sweet Mint palette. I'll be taking these two shades and then just apply it here and ibu work mo siya pataas. Diba? Like, for a knockoff ha, this is so nice. As you can see, ang ganda ng pigment niya. Wow. Then, taking the brush kanina, I'm just gonna blend the harsh edges. I'm just gonna use my fingers to build the product up. So, ganyan. I'm also gonna be adding the darkest shade pala. Here sa pinakababa. Ayan. For that gradient look. Now, let's just blend it together. Ayan. Super blendable niya. I was so shocked when I bought this palette. So, same lang din yung gagawin natin here sa lower lashes. 
So, I'm gonna take this shade again and then I'm gonna apply it sa lower lashes. Also, what I like about doing eggs, ha? Like, nabasa ko lang to sa nag-comment sa TikTok ko and napa, oo nga, no? Napagano na lang ako. Pag nag-eggs ka, hindi makikita yung creasing ng concealer mo which is so convenient. Kasi minsan, di ba, hindi talaga natin may iiwasan na magkikrease talaga yung concealer. So, pag nag-eggs ka or nag-apply ka ng makeup dito, hindi talaga makikita yung creasing which... Kaya pala, hindi nagkikrease yung under eyes ko kasi yung nag-eggsal ako. Anyway, applying a light pink color sa under eyes like this one. The shade, yung light pink. If takot ka pa mag-draw ng eggsal, okay na yung ganyan. And then, lagyan mo na lang ng shimmers or glitters dyan. Kasi lalo na pag big event to. So, if you can't risk it, then ganyanin mo na lang siya. In my case, since alam ko na pa na mag-draw ng eggsal, so I'm gonna do it. And I'm just gonna be using the darkest shade to draw my agasal. But be careful kasi sobrang powdery na to. So, top of the excess talaga. And then just squint your eyes and follow the natural shadow of your agasal like that. Also, don't worry pag medyo harsh siya kasi I'm gonna teach you guys how to clean it up later. So, ganyan lang kakapal yung bet kong agasal. Pag nasobrahan kayo ng lagay, just take like the lightest shade sa eyeshadow palette and just apply it dun sa places na parang nasobrahan ng eggsal. So, as you can see, medyo naglighten na siya. And diba, usually, nagkikrease yung concealer sa part na to. And now, na may eggsal ako, pag nagkrease yung concealer ko, hindi siya halata. Kasi lalagyan pa natin ng glitter mamaya. And then, pag nag e ako, I always put like a tail here, pag ganyan, para hindi siya magmukhang super taba. And para ma-elongate niya rin yung eyes ko. So, dito ka mag-start. And then, just spread it outwards. Yan. As you can see, kita mo na yung line. Ganyan siya. Napansin ko din like sa mga Koreans, sa mga Chinese influencers, or like beauty gurus. Ganito sila mag-egusa. Like may linya talaga dyan. You can always practice and do trial and error para malaman nyo kung ano yung eyeshadow style na bagay sa eyes mo. Or like makeup style sa face mo. So as you can see, mayroon ng line here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lightest shade again. And I'm just gonna like highlight this part para mahalata yung gap. Gets nyo ba? <laughs> Ang pangit ko mag-explain. So as you can see, mas visible na yung gap. And mas na-elongate niya yung eyes ko. Kita nyo ba? <laughs> By the way, guys, if you're not into, like, eggsal, doyin, Chinese, Korean makeup, you can skip the eggsal part and just apply eyeshadow sa lower lashes and then put some shimmers on it. Because I know it's gonna look pretty naman kahit walang eggsal, so I just wanna put it out there. <laughs> Na-enlarge na yung eyes ko, and ang ganda talaga ng effect ng ganito. I don't know, I always see this sa K-pop idols, and I've always really liked the effect. And now na na-master ko na siya, I feel so pretty with it. Like... Thank you sa mga K-pop makeup artist. Okay, this is optional, but if you like to highlight your eggsal, I like to use a shimmer pencil. It's a gel liner, pero shimmer siya. Ganyan. This is from Mary Todd. Mga under 500 siya, pero I consider it expensive. So, yung parang alternative nito is yung focal year na gel liner, which I'm also gonna be linking down below. So, I'm just gonna put it here sa eggsal. Like that. O, diba? Tignan yung difference. This one is mas nag-pop yung eggsal and mas buhay tignan yung eyes ko. Diba? Okay, later na tayo mag-apply ng glitter and shimmer sa lids. Kasi now, I'm gonna teach you how to do an eyeliner without an eyeliner product. If you have like an eyeshadow palette lang na may dark shade like this, basta yung dark shade, kahit color black or kahit anong dark shade sa palette mo. In order for this to work, kailangan meron kang eyebrow brush. So, any eyebrow brush could work. But I highly recommend these thin ones, like, ganito kanipis talaga. I'm just gonna link it down below. This is from OVW. Also, if you don't have a setting spray, use water. So, just spray the brush with water. Or setting spray. Dip your, um, brush to the product. Pag nasa brush na yung product, spray it again. And then, just line your eyes. And this is so much easier than liquid eyeliner. Kasi angled na yung brush. Eh. By the way, guys, you can also use this technique on your brow products. Like, your brow gels na may color. Or yung brow powder, brow pomade. Just create a wing. As you can see, kita nyo na yung wing. Just need to always wet your brush before you dip it to the eyeshadow para talagang pigmented siya. Ayan. 
Ayan, so it looks like this. You can build it up kung gano'ng kakapal yung gusto mo. But for me, ganito lang yung gusto kong ma-achieve. So, okay na yan. And na-elongate niya talaga yung eyes ko. And maganda rin siya tignan. Kahit na eyeshadow lang yung gamit natin. By the way, hindi pala ako nakapag-recommend ng eyeliner product. So, if you want a liquid eyeliner, I highly recommend this one from O2O. Kasi look at the packaging, di ba? It's so nice. Affordable siya, like 100 plus. And hindi siya nagda-dry na may shine. Alam niyo yung mga really cheap eyeliners na pag nagda-dry siya, parang ang shiny niya natin. So, it looks very cheap. This one kasi, hindi siya ganun ka shiny. And I really like that it has a very fine tip. Okay, so I have this tip for you guys. So, mga nanonood na may liquid eyeliner na nahihirapan mag-eyeliner, so you can do this trick. Yung ginawa ko kanina, I drew an eyeliner using eyeshadow. You can trace it with your liquid eyeliner para hindi na kayo mahirapan. Also, para mapantay rin yung eyeliner nyo. That's just a pro tip. <laughs> now, let's move on to shimmers and glitters. I'm gonna be using the O2O palette for the shimmers and glitters. As you can see, it's super nice. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some shimmers here sa Egisal para may pagka-golden siya. Pero, if gusto nyo na ganito lang, you can skip this part. I'm just gonna dip it here sa parang warm tone na shimmer. And then, ilalagay ko lang siya here sa Egisal ko. In person, you can really appreciate the shimmer. Tap mo lang siya and then just apply it on your lids like that. Like, par lang siyang shimmer or glitter topper. Ganyan yung effect niya. So, as you can see, binigyan niya ng character yung plain matte eyeshadow sa side na to. Diba? So, now let's proceed to the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna be taking this shade. Ilagay mo lang siya sa inner corner para mag-brighten yung eyes. And kind of drag it upwards, pero wag mong isagad na pa ganun. Like, upwards lang. And use a light hand for this. Ayan, look at the difference. This is how the eyeshadow looks like without lashes. I'm gonna be recommending three styles. Two from Paulash and one from Fabulash. So, sa Fabulash, of course, my all-time favorite, L6. This is so pretty, guys. Part talaga siyang lash extensions. And lalo na when you apply mascara over it, it's gonna look so nice. If ayaw mo ng clear band, I suggest Polish Pro Lashes. These are the styles M09 and C11. This is M09. Medyo natural siya tignan. Kung gusto mo naman yung cut eye na style, I highly recommend C11, as you can see. Today, I'm gonna be using the Paul Lash Pro C11 kasi gusto ko yung pakak talaga yung lashes ko. Of course, before we apply falsies, let us curl our lashes para mag-blend siya sa natural lashes mo. For the lash glue naman, since graduation day is gonna be like a long event and ayaw mo naman na matatanggal-tanggal yung lashes mo, diba? So, polish talaga is the way to go. I'm gonna be using the black lash glue today but if you're a beginner, I suggest using a clear one. I'm just gonna be applying the glue and don't put too much. After applying lash glue, we're gonna wait like 30 seconds to 1 minute para maging tacky siya. Para hindi ka mahirapan sa pag-apply ng lashes. Start sa center and then idikit mo sa side like that. And then sa inner corner. Using the applicator, idikit mo siya sa lash line mo. After nyong idikit yung lashes, you can curl it like this. This is with the lashes and without the lashes. Here's how my eye makeup looks like. I literally forgot to put on mascara sa lower lashes. So if you want to put on mascara, then just go ahead. <laughs> I really like this eye makeup. Like, it's a soft glam. Lalo na, diba, if kailangan nyo mag-mask sa graduation day, at least yung eye makeup mo is very eye-catching. Ayan. So now, let's proceed to our cheeks. For powder blushes, I have here the Choo Choo Beauty powder blushes. Kasi ito lang yung powder blushes na below 500 pesos na meron ako. And again, you can also use the blushes from this detail palette kasi maganda rin naman. Today, I'm gonna be using this pink blush from the detail palette. By the way, guys, this palette is so powdery, so top of the excess talaga. Then, just applying it here sa center. As you can see, ang ganda ng shade ng pink. Here, medyo intimidating siya. Pero pag nilagay mo na siya sa cheeks, it's super, super nice. Kung required sa inyo mag-mask sa graduation day, isagad nyo here yung blush. Para pag nag-mask kayo, makikita pa rin yung blush, di ba? Ayan, super fresh ng pagka-pink niya. I just love this blush so much. Also, don't forget to apply some on your nose. And a little bit on your chin. Para sobrang fresh talaga. So, if you're wondering kung anong difference nila ni Choo Choo Beauty Miss Dolly, here's Miss Dolly and here's the detail blush. Going on to highlighter, eto talaga yung pinaka highly recommended kong highlighter kasi super affordable lang nito guys. 200 plus. And it's a loose highlighter. And I feel like it's gonna last you forever. I doubt na ubus mo to. This is from Lovely Cosmetics. It's their loose highlighter and I love the shade Radiate. Medyo makalat lang yung packaging but 
I really don't mind kasi ang ganda ng performance niya. Wala talaga siyang chunky glitters. It just looks like you're glowing. It's so flattering talaga. I love this so much. It's the best local highlighter in the market. I'm looking at my mirror right now and my makeup looks so good. Like, oh, what the heck? The camera is not even doing it justice. Sana ganito yung ginawa kong makeup last year. It's so nice and hindi pa ako nagli-lipstick. Now, let's move on to our lips. If gusto nyo gumamit ng lip liner, I highly recommend this one from Lovely Cosmetics kasi ito lang lip liner na mayroon ako. And it's really good, guys. The shades are really good. For lip bullets naman, I recommend the Essie Co. Lip Bullets kasi ang gaganda ng shades. Super wearable. May nude, may dark shades. Like, nandun lahat ng kailangan mo. This one is my favorite. It's in the shade Fresco. Ito yung gagamitin nating base today. If you want glossy tints naman, of course, Roman Juicy Lasting Tints are really good. Super hydrating sa lips and it leaves a really nice state. Kung gusto mo naman ng glossy tints na galing sa local brand, I highly recommend Choo Choo Beauty, their Juicy Do Tints, and also the Lucky Beauty Dewy Lip Stains. It's super nice. Magkaiba sila ng formula, guys. But they're both so good. Uburahin ko na yung lip plumper na nilagay ko kanina. Pinspudpud na yung lip liner ko kasi hindi pa ako nakahanap ng sharpener. Lipstick na lang yung gagawin nating base for our lip combo. So, this is from Isian Co. True Matte Lip Bullet in the shade Fresco. Ilalagay ko lang siya all over my lip. Focusing on the outer part of my lips. It's okay kahit hindi siya pantay kasi I'm gonna smudge it with this lip brush which I'm gonna be linking down below. Nakalimutan ko siya i-link sa last video. So, anyway, ganyan lang. I'm gonna be blending it out. Just gonna be smudging the outer part para hindi siya harsh. Tignan. And it also makes your lips look really plump and bigger pag nismudge mo siya. Then, I'm gonna be applying the Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade Nucademia. All over my lip. But we're gonna smudge it anyway. So, and I'm gonna be applying it. Using the lip brush again, I'm gonna be smudging the harsh edges. So, this is how it looks like. If you prefer a nude lip, then you can stop here. Pero kasi, I prefer that gradient plump lips look. So, I'm gonna layer it with a darker lip tint. This is from Choo Choo Beauty in the shade Boysenberry. So, ilalagay ko siya sa gitna. Like that. And then, using the same lip brush, I'm just gonna be blending it out. Like yung mga harsh edges niya. And para mag-blend lang din siya sa lipi natin. Then apply no academia again sa outer part lang. So this is how the lip combo looks like. So to set everything in place, I'm gonna be using this ZC Oil Control Setting Spray. And this is spray ko lang siya all over my face. Make sure to shake it and then... Ayan, spray mo lang. And then just wait for it to dry. So, this is how my makeup looks like. And mag-aayos muna ako ng hair and also magbibihas ako. And yung susuotin ko is yun yung sinuot ko nung graduation day ko. So, be right back. This is the final look. And here it is up close. So, you can do anything to your hair. Kung ano yung gusto mong hairstyle, then go. So, what I did was, I just straightened it and I'm good to go. Ito rin yung sinuot ko underneath my toga, but nakaganyan siya. So, ngayon, yung off-shoulder ko siya. And I hope nagkatulong tong video na to sa mga students na wala pang budget pang makeup artist. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm gonna be posting videos every Friday at 6pm.